Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to bypass a forgotten Windows 10 or 11 password without losing your files, reinstalling Windows, or formatting your drive. This method is 100% free, and the good part is that it works for both administrator and local user accounts. Most people think the only option is reinstalling Windows, but that's a long process. You'll have to reinstall all your software, reconfigure your settings, and you risk losing important data. The method I'll show you avoids all of that. It's simple, effective, and anyone can do it. This video is strictly for educational purposes. Before we get started, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss helpful content like this. All right, let's get into it. To do this, you'll need another working laptop and a USB flash drive with at least four gigabytes of space. We're going to turn that USB into a bootable recovery tool. Now let's switch to the laptop screen. Start by opening your browser on the working computer and searching for LazySoft password recovery. Click the first result. It should be the official LazySoft website. I'll also drop a direct download link in the video description to save you time. Once you're on the site, head to the download section, look for the home edition and download it. When the download is complete, right-click the installer and run it as administrator. Click Yes on the User Account Control prompt, select your preferred language, accept the license agreement, and click Next and finally click Install. Click Finish when the installation is done to launch the software. Now plug in your USB flash drive into the PC. In the Lazisoft window, click on Burn CD slash USB disk. You'll be asked to choose the operating system of the locked PC. Make sure you select the correct version. For example, if it's running Windows 10 to 64 bit, pick that option. The locked laptop I showed you is running Windows 10 64 bit, so I will go ahead to select it. Click Next, select the USB drive, and proceed. If your USB has data on it, LazSoft will prompt you to back it up before continuing. If it's empty, just click Yes to proceed. The software will begin creating a bootable USB. This may take a few minutes depending on your system. Once it's done, click Finish, 
close last soft and confirm that the files are now on the USB drive. You'll also notice that the USB drive is now named LASSOFT. Safely eject the USB when everything's ready. Now head over to the locked computer, power it off, plug in the USB drive, then turn it back on. You'll need to access the boot menu. This usually means repeatedly pressing a key like F9, F12, or escape key as the system starts up. Different brands use different keys, so check the video description for a list of common boot keys by manufacturer. For HP laptop that I'm using for this demonstration, the boot menu key is F9. Once you see the boot menu, select the USB drive and hit enter. When the Lazisoft Live CD screen appears, press Enter again to load the recovery environment. Wait for the files to load. On the LASSOFT recovery screen, select Password Recovery, click Next, click Yes to proceed, click Next. Here you will see different accounts on the PC. Pick the one you want to unlock, then click Next, and choose the option to reset or unlock the password. Lazisoft will notify you once the password has been reset successfully. Click Finish, restart the PC, and unplug the USB drive. As you can see, we've successfully unlocked the Windows password without doing anything complicated. There was no data loss, all your software and programs are still there, and nothing got deleted. Everything on your computer stays exactly the same. You can keep the USB flash drive in a safe place, just in case you forget your password again in the future. It's also useful if a friend or family member ever needs help with the same problem. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon so you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.